Coming up from the fourth Masters of the season in Lausanne, Switzerland, AKA the Olympic capital. We follow the hugely popular Double Dutch, which definitely roped the fans in at the World Tour. We sit down with social media sensation Jonas Jarvalainen, who makes his World Tour debut at the event, and the Thailand star opens up about Estonia's love affair with 3x3. And Kristaps Dargais shed some light into how he became the most unique dunker in the world. Plus, stay tuned to the end of the magazine for a can't miss top five plays of the tournament. It's quick, it's epic, and now it's Olympic. Welcome to the world of FIBA 3x3 basketball, a game played with nonstop music on a half court with two teams of three players going to 21 points with 10 minutes on the game clock. Previously at the FIBA 3x3 World Tour, Novi Sad marked their name in the record books after winning a thrilling Prague Masters in the Czech Republic. They achieved Mission Impossible and became the first team in 3x3 history to go from the qualifying draw to title glory. But in Lausanne, Novi Sad faces a tough challenge in an event filled with more stars than Hollywood Boulevard, big personalities, and the top seven teams in the world. So who will reign supreme in Lausanne? Defending champions Novi Sad Awada show why they are the team to beat, winning both games against Amsterdam, Enox Dills, and Kron. The top seeds were led by Dushan Bullet, who once again broke the internet with plays more ridiculous than Russell Westbrook's wardrobe. Mr. Bulletproof did his usual David Blaine impression as he fooled opponents, took ankles, and dropped dimes like he had a hole in his pocket. Oh my goodness, he left Yulevich like the Uber came. That's embarrassing. Hometown heroes Lasan had the crowd on their feet by beating Nice GRDF 21-14, which was enough to clinch a quarterfinals berth. In the physical encounter, Lasan overcame Nice's intimidating big men with Wes Multany and Gilles Martin, providing a lethal one-two punch for the host. King West shook the rim early with a one-handed flush and then repeated the dose with a two-handed stuff to make sure the fans celebrated like they were Kyle Jenner's 21st birthday. However, their joy was short-lived when Lehman Tesla Voda produced the most lopsided result of day one with a 21-7 slapping of Lasan that silenced the local fans as the Serbs advanced to the quarterfinals. Perhaps the most impressive effort of the opening day was Team Riga, with the Latvian studs winning easily over Upoles Bernard after overcoming the young Kiwanis team in an earlier tight contest. Carlos Lasmanis and Norris Miezes played Batman and Robin again, with Lasmanis putting on his cape with a filthy slam for the gram over Roman Zakrila. That might require some counseling, Zakrila. It was one of several high-flying Lasmanis dunks as he poured in 11 points to help Riga enjoy a comfortable 21-14 win over the Czech team. Not to be outdone, the Dragon Bogdan Dragovic fired a stunning Tiso buzzer beater to lift Zamun past Piran, becoming the third Serbian team to reach the quarterfinals. The this Dragon! Man. I told you ice water's running through his veins! Okay, so the top five seeds, along with Amsterdam Enox Dills, Lausanne, and Upolets Bernard, survive day one and move on to the quarterfinals. But it's bye 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 for Kron, Nice, Kwanis, and Ljubljana. Yunus Jarvalainen didn't make it past the qualifying draw in Lausanne against two of the seven best teams in the world, but he did establish himself as one of the best in Estonia, a country that lives and breathes 3x3. The Thailand star represented his homeland in the 3x3 World Cup in Manila back in June. 
We started this project in May and uh, our uh, goal was just uh, to play in the World Cup but now it's uh, kind of uh, developed into something more so this is our first opportunity to play in the World Tour and of course I'm very excited about it. Estonia is 3x3 mad. Not Kanye crazy, but you get what I mean. 3x3 in Estonia actually has been uh, pretty big for a long time. So Estonia is, has been independent for uh, 27 years and they have played 3x3 for 25 years. So it's always been a big sport. Jarvalainen has some of the most hilarious videos you'll ever see on YouTube. Although we did think about suspending him for scaring his mama like that. No, Olga Valmis, oh yeah. It's like a fun outlet these days, you know, if you want to get something out to the people, it's really easy. It's just a question of how many people want to see it in the end, so I think it's a window to the world. Sometimes creative people get lost and uh, that's their opportunity to show themselves and uh, I suppose there have been many people who have, uh, let's say, created something more from just doing videos for fun or posting pictures, whatever. Okay, now crazy, screaming, flexing. <laughs> You know who had a better day one than Yunus Jarvalainen? How about the eight pro breakers who competed in the World Dance Sport Federation battle? Local hopes rested on Moa, who enjoyed a stunning semi-final upset over Dutch rising star, Prague battle winner, Tim Corney. But Moa faced a tough battle next. In the final, 23-year-old Suni from the UK was sweet as sugar. Call him Sunny Delight. The London Rising Star dropped the craziest slow-mo we have ever seen and ended up winning a unanimous decision to claim the Lausanne stage of the World Dance Sport Federation Breakback. Right, here's a quick look at the quarterfinals bracket, which includes three Serbian teams starting as the favorites and Riga, who stole the show day one. First up, could underdog Upalets Bernard upset the defending champs Novi Sad Awada? The Czech team were clearly not intimidated. Roman Zakrila helped Upalets pull out an early lead and then tattooed the Wilson logo on Thomas Evo says face. Was Upalets about to do the impossible? Dusan Bullet had other ideas. Mr. Bulletproof went supernova and came to Novi Sad's rescue with seven of his eight points in the clutch. This ridiculous dagger right here coldly put the knife into a brave Upalet squad. It was very tough, they are a very strong team and uh, very physical. But on the end of the game, Dusan made two very important three points and we won because of that. Hosts Lasan were looking to continue feeding off the energy from their diehard fans. And they started well, scoring the first five points. Gilles Martin and Wes Montaigne were packing a one-two punch. But Zamoun refused to be knocked out as Lazar Rasic suddenly tied it up at seven apiece. As the crowd rediscovered its voice, Lasan regained control thanks to King West. It all came down to the last play with the visitors having a chance to get it to overtime, but a turnover got the crowd louder than a thousand cowbells. With a crowd like that, with that energy, with that sun, we can only give it all out. After a couple of games that were bad for the heart, it was time for a doozy. The number two ranked team, Lehman Tesla Voda, were out to prove a point and they drained buckets from the get-go with Stefan Koyas proving he has more range than Ariana Grande. Lehman skipped out to an 8-2 lead. Any chance Piran had of making a comeback ended when the number two player in the world, Stefan Stojic, a.k.a. Mr. Robot, 
started copying and pasting ridiculous tubes. He finished with eight points while Lehman controlled the glass through Ratkov and Mihaly Vasic to easily win it 22 to 11. This is for sure one of the best tournaments on the world stage. So as for every tournament, we are high motivated and we want to win. Riga were the most impressive team on day one and jumped out to an early lead. Carlos Lasmanis was putting the moves on as Riga scored the first six points. To get back into the contest, Amsterdam Enoch Steels looked to Aaron Royang and the mountain Boz Rosendahl, who felt right at home in the Swiss Alps. You might want to start skiing downhill, Agnes Chavaris. But a Norse Mieza's dagger ended the game with Riga making their way to the semifinals. We work a lot after Saskatoon Masters. We talk about our turnovers, our mistakes, what we did before. So I think now we're ready to fight for the championship. During the World Tour, we partnered up with the Rope Skipping Federation and the world popular Double Dutch has been on the show during the Masters. The winners in Lausanne, Team Cozion, say it's become a worldwide phenomenon. Bah, comme son nom l'indique, c'est du Double Dutch. Donc c'est né en Hollande. Ça a été importé directement aux États-Unis à New York. Donc ensuite, ça s'est développé euh, à New York. Ça a grandi et ça a traversé toutes les frontières. Physiquement, il faut être euh, au top, quoi, que ce soit au niveau du bas du corps, du haut du corps, du cardio, parce que c'est quand même de la corde à sauter. Il faut avoir beaucoup de mental parce que tenir deux minutes euh, hyper vite dans les cordes, c'est super difficile. Donc euh, le, le mental est aussi important que la condition physique. Double Dutch is full of creativity and excitement, which is perfect alongside 3x3. Donc, on a déjà fait euh, des démonstrations pour euh, le 3-3 à Nantes l'année dernière. Et euh, on a trouvé cet événement super, on a déjà fait plein d'événements pour le basket, pour des mi-temps, etc. Mais là, c'était vraiment autre chose, il y avait une autre ambiance, c'était un peu plus urbain, un peu plus hip-hop. Et donc aujourd'hui, en Lausanne, en fait, ce qui se passe, c'est qu'on va faire des battles. Donc c'est une mini-compétition, on va dire. Et là, le truc qui, qui change, c'est qu'il n'y euh, a pas de juge. Donc les juges, ça va être le public. Le public doit crier. L'équipe qui aura eu le plus de cris, on va dire, ben, c'est cette équipe qui sera qualifiée pour aller en finale. S'il vous plaît, pour Team Cohésion C'est quelque chose que les gens aiment beaucoup. Dès qu'on va prendre des cordes dans la rue et tourner, même si les gens ne connaissent pas, ils vont venir, ils vont s'intéresser, ils vont essayer. Et c'est ça que j'aime beaucoup dans ce sport. So now we're up to the semi-final with the number one team, Novi Sad Awada, against host Lasan, and number two, Lehman Tesla Voda, against the always dangerous Riga squad. With hometown heroes Lasan making dreams come true, excited local fans were anticipating an upset in the first semifinal and got louder than a Metallica concert. But Novi Sad are cold bloody and had the recipe to silence the crowd. Dusan Bullet was just out there proving his goatness as usual. Lassan's players will still be here and by and they sleep tonight. His opponent, Gilles Martin, tried to imitate him a little bit, but he learned an invaluable lesson. There's only one Mr. Bulletproof. Lassan gave it their all, but Novi Sad were hitting circus shots that was like a pin to a balloon for the crowd. Marco Savage was also having fun putting Lassan on the operating table, dissecting him. And fittingly, it was Mr. Bulletproof with the exclamation point as he savagely ended local dreams in the TSO fastest game of the event. I heard what the good stories about this tournament and I didn't want to believe it until I saw, but it is the best event ever in my whole life, in my whole career. The, the crowd is really amazing, the, the, the venue is great, so it's really, really great to be here. It seemed like the second semifinal was destined to be epic, with Riga coming in red hot and ready for the challenge that Lehman Tesla Voda was going to bring. The underdogs threw their weight around in an effort to rattle Lehman, but Stefan Stoicic had other ideas. Dropping bombs from long range like he was playing World of Warcraft or something. 
Last season's World Tour regular season MVP splashed six shots from behind the arc as the game was a rout. He finished with 12 points to remind everybody he once dueled with Steph Curry at the junior international level. The 21-10 Lehman victory in the second TSO fastest game of the event ensured it would be an all-Serbian final at the Lasalle Masters. I scored, that's my job, I'm doing that, so it happened like that in this game. Kristaps Dargais is the most unorthodox dunker in the world. Here's some advice for you. Don't try to copy his rim rockers at home. But the Latvian wasn't always confident about his superhero powers. I wasn't too confident about myself back then. I didn't want to participate in dunk contest. But one of my friends tell the main organizer, we have a really good guy, you just need to get him out. And uh, you know my surname in Latvian, it's like uh, in English it would be the darling. So, and he was immediately, darling, darling, oh, what a nice surname, where are you? And of course, I went there, I did my first dunk contest, I won it, and uh, after that, everything started. Dark Ice became a rock star when he won the 2014 3x3 World Tour Manila Masters through a series of outrageous dunks that thrilled the locals. <laughs> Of course, one of the best experiences was in Manila. And actually, that's the only 3 x World Tour dunk contest I have won. So I have great memories from there, and uh, especially the crowd was great. And that was probably one of the few places where I felt like real celebrity. So after the contest, I remember I had like some half an hour photo shoot with the spectators, and I went to the car and like guards around me. He's quite literally reached great heights through creativity and delivered dunks no one can replicate, like his jaw-dropping tornado special. Dargais, I don't believe what I just saw. And he gets 10s from the judges. That might have been worth an 11. The kid's gonna be talking about that tonight at home after dinner. The helicopter smash from the man they call Thor. I want some more. You, you will not see that from anybody else. My thing is that uh, I jump from right leg and I do all my dunks with right arms. Usually dunkers do jump from left, dunk with right, or jump from right, dunk with left. That's why I can have the dunks that almost nobody can do in the world, like my tornado. Since I have done it, nobody has done it as, as I do. Everything must be perfect because I don't see the rim. If I jump too far, I front rim it. If I jump too far away, I back rim it. So it's really hard dunk, but uh, since you get used to it, it's not as hard. Two of the best dunkers in the world squared off. And you know what that means. Bad news for our shelled rims. The American pro dunker Chris Staples was back at the World Tour after winning two Masters in the last two years. He faced strong competition from Dargais, who hadn't tasted victory on the tour since Manila four years ago. Dargais started off with a nasty between the legs throwdown, but Staples responded with a trademark windmill yank. The heat was too much for Prague qualifier Bruno Gonzalez who was knocked out but still managed to jump over Staples as if he was bouncing off a trampoline. The heavyweight battle continued, but Dargais was unable to compete with his first dunk, which proved costly. Staples almost had the title in the bag as he somehow produced a dizzying near 720 degree dunk that still's got my head spinning. He was so cool, his snapback didn't even come off. It came too late, but Dargais produced maybe the dopest dunk of the night with his trademark tornado slam, earning a perfect score from the judges. Look, I've heard of a no-look pass, but a no-look dunk, that was destructive. But it was Staples night as he finished off with his signature 360 under both legs on his last attempt. Sometimes I dream that he is me. 
That man got more ups than the mail service. Competition over. <laughs> Tens across the board. And now it's camera time. Now pose for the camera now. Click, click. Uh, that's it. That's all. So it's Chris Staples who wins the title and a $2,500 check in Lausanne. This crowd is amazing. Give it up for yourselves. <laughs> Love coming to FIBA and the energy that it brings. It helps us dunkers uh, make these dunks and, you know, it, it gets us excited and gets our adrenaline going. It was set to be a mouth-watering final between the top two teams in the world. The Serbian rivals were squaring off again to continue this epic rivalry. Limantes Lavoda were looking for revenge against Novi Sad Awada after a heartbreaking defeat to start the year at the Saskatoon Master. There were fierce rivalries all over the court. None bigger than Dushan Bullet, a.k.a. Mr. Bulletproof, against his nemesis, Stefan Stojic, a.k.a. Mr. Robot. The tension was palpable, but Novi Sad was aiming to land an early Mayweather jab. Marco Savage was on target from long range as Novi Sad skipped out to a five-point buffer and appeared set for a comfortable victory, leading 17 to 12. But come on now, you thought Lehman was just gonna roll over? Stefan Koy had splashed one from deep to reduce the lead to two points as both teams appeared to run on fumes. Mr. Robot, the hero of the semifinal, stepped up with 3.30 left in the game, knocking one down from beyond the arc to get Lehman within one and got the crowd in triple-digit decibels. It was time for heroes to emerge, and Tomas Ivosev rose up. He protected the rim and then scored a bucket to get Novi Sad within the magical mark at 19-17. Dejan Majstorovic could have sealed the deal with three minutes left but missed the game-winning shot beyond the arc as Lehman still had a pulse. The Maestro missed another chance and Lehman was still alive. Incredibly, scores leveled at 20 apiece when Mr. Robot hit from deep as Lehman was about to produce the great escape. One of the most astonishing comebacks was almost completed, but Alexander Radko blew the layup to the disbelief of the Lehman bench. And for the third time this year, Marco Savage took his responsibilities and scored the title clinching bucket for Novi Sad Awada. It is the Serbian surgeon putting him on the operation table and going to work with the game on the line. And they do it yet uh Again. Liman is a hell of a team, you know, it's always, you need to bring your best game to beat them, but we play really good as a team, and in the end we deserve to win. Novi Sad Awada win their third title of the season and extend their winning streak to 17 games on the World Tour this year. Ivo Shev was named MVP, Stoichis, meanwhile, received the only consolation of outplaying Bullet in the final to finish the event's leading score. Hold up. Y'all thought I was gonna get out of here without giving you the top five plays? Slap yourself. Here's the Fab Five. We start things off with Jesper Yabsay. Pick and roll and roll and got him stargazing. At number four, Mr. Bulletproof out here doing artwork without looking. Call him Stevie Wonder. Coming up at number three, another facial in Lausanne. Not the pretty type, this the nasty kind. In at number two, after this buzzer beater, I think the dragon breathes ice like the last episode of Game of Thrones. It's been a year, y'all. It ain't considered spoiling anymore.
And your top spot is reserved from the man from Riga, Carlos Lasmanis. Just disrespectful. Just days after Lausanne, the fifth Masters of the season is coming your way from Debrecen, Hungary on August 30th and 31st. The third time the second largest city in Hungary has held the event. Remember, you can follow it live with the hashtag 3x3WT on all of FIBA 3x3 social media channels.